Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use our weather widget within our content editor. Now our weather widget is one of my favorite widgets because it allows you to bring in many forms of dynamic information. So to display this, let me go ahead and bring in our weather widget. And I'm going to resize it. And as you can see, it brings in some default information uh, when you bring in our weather widget. It lists a couple of cities, and as you'll see, it immediately appears within our content editor and begins transitioning between those two cities. Now, if we go over to our properties panel here, you can see that we have the two cities, Budapest and New York, that it is transitioning to. You can put as many cities as you'd like, as well as adjust the timing in which uh, these are displayed. Now, I can make it shorter, I could make it longer. I'm just going to leave it at what it was. But if we go ahead and look here, we see the city name. We also see an icon here displaying uh, what the weather is, but we also see the temperature outside and a description of the weather. Now, if we wanted to change some pieces of this, this is going to be in the rest of our settings here on our main uh, properties. So with that, we could change the direction at which it fades between um, or not fades, but transitions between the two cities. So I'm actually going to select fade and you can see now that the transition is going to change. I can also change the icon set. Now this is one of my favorite things about the weather widget because there's so many style options. So if I go in here and I were to just choose cartoon two, you can now see that it changes my icon set. And like I said, there's many options to choose from, but I'm just going to stick with this one for now. We can change the language that the weather is showing in. We can also change a forecast. Now what's great about this is if we wanted to, you know, say make a five day weather forecast, that's when you would use this option. So if we click on this, you now see that we have the high and the low temperature. We have that same description here and then we also have the date as well. Now, if I were to say make that forecast, all I would have to do is copy and paste an element like so. And I would just come here and offset it for tomorrow. And as you can see, it's now showing uh, different days here. Now, ultimately when you do this, you don't want it to show multiple cities. So you would just change it like so. Just like that, perfect. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and let's add New York back. Okay, so now that we have talked about, you know, how we kind of change up the icon sets, how we, you know, create a forecast, we can also show partial information. Now, this is gonna become very important when you want to customize your uh, weather content even more specifically. So say you didn't like the traditional sort of template we have here and you wanted to make a custom one, all you'd have to do is click partial and then you can select what you want to show that's included in the weather widget. So the high, the low, the date, the day, um, like we can just show city here, that's an option. So like I said, you can just customize it as much as you want. Some additional options that I'll go over are uh, the part position here. So how do you want it centered? How do you want all the information to be displayed? As well as what units do you want our temperature to be shown in Celsius or Fahrenheit? And if you even want to show that at all. So now that I've kind of shown some of the more advanced properties of our weather widget, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a time lapse of me creating a forecast screen just so you can get an idea for how easy to use it is using our widget. Now that we're out of that time lapse, I'm gonna note a few things that we changed when making this content. Now, it's important to note that we use the partial property within our weather widget, and we used a couple of attributes within that. As you can see with these fading in, I used Seattle, the city name. I also used the icon set, and I used high and low temperature for the day. As you can see, we now have a five day forecast, as well as the time just to add a little bit more dynamic information. So that's going to be it for this video on how to use our weather widget. If you have any questions, please send us an email at sales at Thank you and see you next time.